Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm doing week 15 card sketch, which is a wedding anniversary style card that has to have some love hearts on the front and a ribbon down here with a bow um, or such like and a engagement anniversary or wedding type sentiment. So I'm going for Blush and Bride and this, this measures 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to round the corners on the outside of the card. Now, I've cut a piece of white copy paper um, for an insert, because wedding cards always need an insert. Okay, so that's the inside of my card. I then ran this through my script embossing folder, which is part of the um, Press Petals Suite. Got the idea from Stamp with Ian. He sent me a gorgeous card with the same effect. And what I've done is I've actually cut out a little heart. And that is going to go on the front of the card. So I need to round the corners of the edge of this as well. Which can be a little bit more difficult. Hang on. Because it's vellum, I'm going to back it with some cardstock. Can you see that cuts it better? So, I just trim the edges. Ta da! Done. So, you can see here how gorgeous that is. And this is just a plain vellum. Absolutely stunning. Now, it's quite good that I didn't run it through properly, so this edge. Um, isn't as embossed as the rest, but that's fine because that is going to be adhered down here. Okay, so what I need is my tearing tape. Um, and I'm not bothered that you're going to see it because it will be covered by a ribbon. Okay, so what I want to do is pop a piece of tearing tape on there. And you don't want it totally flush with the top and bottom because this is a bit shorter. Okay, so if I just peel that off, now what I want to do is I want to marry up these three edges first before committing it to the paper. Like so. Isn't that adorable? Now, um, let's get some more light actually. It's a bit dull in here today. Um, I actually cut out on the same colour cardstock and embossed a little heart. Don't know if you could see that. That is going to be placed inside there. So when you open that, that is standalone. So if I glue that in just now, just a simple card. Come on, glue. I have not crafted in a wee while. Right, let me poke this with my poker tool. Get any dry glue out. I've got a bad habit of leaving the... <gasps> Shit, look at that. <coughs> got a bad habit of leaving the lids... Um, the lid off it while I'm doing other stuff. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I like? Right, so I've had added some glue onto that. So I'm just going to place that on the inside. Okay, and make sure that your vellum is not sticking as well. Okay, so make sure there's no excess glue. Then what I am going to do is I am going to use some Whisper White Polka Tool Ribbon. Okay, and we're simply going to bring that inside the card, tie we knot up here. Okay, it doesn't need to be, um, it's going to be a square knot and this ribbon is going to be hidden. If you didn't want to waste as much ribbon you could tuck it under the vellum here and here at this point. Okay, so if I cut this, I want to make sure that I've got enough length um, to actually tie the bow. So, I'm just going to pop another bit of tear and tape there like that. I'm going to adhere this down. 
Now, I need to make sure that I have more of a tail at the top because that's where I want to tie my bow. So let's just see. got the length I need. And if it's slightly out it doesn't matter. So you see I'll be able to tie that quite close to the top. Like so. Okay but what I'm going to do first because this um, tearing tape is shining through this ribbon I am going to adhere the inside of my card and again I'm using tearing tape and what you do is if you put it on the left side of your card uh, I'll show you in a second. If you put it on the inside part here, okay, let me just um, marry up the edges. It means that when you open the card, you're opening up the full thing. Okay, I am going to stamp a sentiment in there, but I'm going to do that later. Right, now, I want to add a sentiment that says... Um, Mr. and Mrs. So I've got a piece of vellum here that measures, just measure it off the screen, one by four, and this measures, the stamping layer measures three quarters by four as well. And I'm going to cut them with my triple banner punch. So I need to make sure that it's going in the middle. And I should be left with, um, see these little markers here, they can help you get that centred. And there should be enough room to, um, oh, what's happening with this? It's curving up. There'll be enough room for me to actually stamp my sentiment. So, that's simply going to go over there, and that is going to overlap slightly as well. So I need to trim this down, but I'm going to glue it on first. Splodge, splodge, splodge. So I'm just trying to get it as centre as possible on that piece of vellum. Now because it is vellum, it will take a little longer to um, to dry. So let's see if my stamp will fit. I think that's a bit big. So I may use a smaller one. Now, I'm using the to have and to hold set. I think I'll use here to a lifetime of happy memories if it fits. Yeah, that's going to fit. So if I just pop that on my block, I've got my Blushing Bright ink. If it doesn't work or doesn't fit, I make just cry, but never mind. <laughs> so, if I just ink it up and place it straight as I can on here. And there we go. That fits absolutely gorgeous. And I'll put some um, bling on here. Once the card's finished. So, isn't that adorable? Now this is going to go on top of the ribbon. So let me tie the ribbon. Adorable. I just, this polka tool ribbon is just absolutely adorable. And I'm simply going to try and tie a square knot. Like so, and then I shall trim that end and see. Isn't that cute? Adorable, adorable. And this is going to go on there. Now I know it overlaps slightly. If you don't like the placement, you could put it up a bit. Um, but I want it on the bottom here next to my wee heart. So, let's get that stuck down. Now I am using tear and tape again, 
just to give it some more security on the card because it's vellum going on to vellum. going to go on there. I think that's adorable. Let me get some bling. Quite a simple card but adorable all the same. Now I'm going to use the clear epoxy droplets because I want to keep it um, quite a subtle card. So these have got slight glitter in them. I'm just going to pop a couple in the heart. Couple on the actual sentiment as well, like so. And I'll pop these three in. Right, so there is the um, embellishments on the top there, and I want to stamp something in here. And for that, I'm going to use the Stitched All Around set, Enjoy Your Special Day. All-time classic, this one. It's amazing. I like it to like it. So, this isn't cling, and it's kind of lost its stickiness a little bit. So, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of tear and tape on there, just so it sticks to my block. Like so, and I'm going to use the Blushing Bride ink. Let me move some of this mess out of the way, guys. Okay, so just load that up with your ink. I am going to pop that right in the middle. Like so. Adorable. Adorable, adorable. Now I do have some spare, um, I have the cut out from here that um, I'm going to pop on the inside and also cut out the same heart but I didn't emboss this one and this vellum is from the Perennial Essence Suite and I'm just going to basically stick them in there. Now I'm going to glue and then overlap where the glue area is. Okay, so, just getting a little bit of glue from that lot that I um, spilt. <laughs> and a little bit of glue on there. Don't need a lot. Don't need a lot at all. And that gives us a cute, cute little... Um, Double heart area. Now I'm going to drop that a little bit because it's not quite centre for me. Um, and I think that looks adorable. And there is my wee card sketch. Thank you so much for um, watching. Please remember and have a little view of that, the other entries that the other ladies have done. Whoopsie. Um, I will put them on my blog further down the page. Um, and then um, thanks to everyone who's joined in. Right guys, thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon.